one more thing guys I've mentioned this before and I'll repeat it in every human relationship in every human interaction there are boundaries because there are always there's always there are always expectations and there are always you, you know how to say it efforts being make made to achieve those expectations so in every human human relationships I'm oh, sorry in every human relationship there are boundaries because expectations are always present the thing is you know are those expectations are those boundaries are they based upon reality are they righteous are they good boundaries are they are they are they fair are they are they, I'd say this thing. are those boundaries abusive or not because that's the issue with abusive relationships there are boundaries just like in any other relationship but the abuser only impose boundaries upon you because the abuser wants to have control upon you you have the obligation no matter what in the eyes of the abuser to please the abuser and but the abuser doesn't have any obligation towards you whatsoever in their mind do you have those people in your life that always when they need something they know how to find you but in all other but in all other times you don't exist to them there's abuse guys it's not that people don't have time for you they do have time for you when they need something but they don't have time for you any other time um, don't be deceived abusive people always have a double standard no obligation for me this is my life you can expect anything from me don't expect anything have heard that but when it's about their interest and how other people's behavior affect them they always want to remind people of their obligations towards them so they don't have any they don't have any obligations but all others do have hey don't tolerate that behavior in your life you see okay you don't have to condemn you don't have to condemn people absolutely not you don't have to fight with people just make clear that you don't accept such behavior either people acknowledge you the right or either or they don't and if they choose not acknowledge you they should stay away you see I'm talking you know these days with an Australian friend of mine at at his work in at the workplace he has this you know young lady who is continually you know touching him and flirting with him but she's not ready for a relationship so kind of so he, he was asking advice you know what he should do and I told him just talk with her and to be plain about it either we get involved with one another either you have to stop this nonsense I told them you know she should not say no to you yet expect the benefits of a yes now apart from this example this also counts in any other area of life people should not you know reject you yet they want all the benefits of an acceptance no they, they shouldn't because they won't accept it for, uh, if, if someone someone do it to them so people always you know a lot of psychologists and therapists are talking about you know making clear boundaries there are always boundaries and boundaries are always clear either the boundaries are abusive or they are based on reality now there's nothing wrong with boundaries based upon reality but there is something definitely wrong with boundaries based upon selfish interests I hope this helps one of you who, who is viewing this and um, just be careful which boundaries you accept in your life if a boundary is abusive just don't acknowledge it you see you have a right to refuse boundaries that are not that are based upon nonsense may the grace of Jesus be with you